Tell you what, I love this river on the fall. Autumn, it's so beautiful. Tell you what, you know, but it's scary because these trees are old, rotted out, and big, and they tend to fall. Hello. It's me, Juanito, your Pueblo Prospector, coming at you once again on what they call Widowmakers, like guys, like this one. That's a mean, oh, at least a thousand pounds. Came off from up there. Nice windy day. Brought that son of a bitch down. And, man, that could kill somebody easy. Look at that thing. Look how thick that limb is, man. It's ridiculous. Very dangerous. This stretch, all up and down Pueblo here. They don't really maintain their parks too much over here. Cause you, so there's a lot of rotted trees out like that. You know, big ass cottonwoods uh, that tend to break off what they call widow makers. You've heard me talk about them before. These things are no joke, man. Yeah, it makes me nervous walking down this trail on windy days. You have to look up. <laughs> Scary shit, man. Scary. All right. <sighs> but it is beautiful, though. It's quiet. Hear the crickets. Look at my little feeder creek over there. Eh, wasn't too impressed. That's got to be the one that's coming next to Whitlock water plant. But anyhow, here we are, walking up to the spillway. Uh, fish are jumping like crazy. <laughs> Left the sluice box in the car today. I think I'm gonna focus on doing a little bit of crevicing over here at the spillway. These rocks, now that they're uh, getting exposed, you know, there's some exposed bedrock, not much, but you know, again with this flood over the over the uh, rainy season, over the summer. And, uh, see this big old limb that fell. Look at that. Scary. <laughs> Scary. That's a big one. Coming up on the bridge in the distance. I was expecting more fishermen here. But no, that's cool by me. Got the river to myself. I usually do anyway. Very peaceful here. Nobody bothers you. Unless they're asking questions and fascination of what, you know, what we do, prospecting and whatnot, looking for the gold, modern day prospectors. All right, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna pan around right over here, check it out, hold on. Okay. Look underneath that, uh, that bank under there, across the river. Underneath that root. Perfect day to dig, nice and breezy. And 
not all hot. Got people coming up on us, the trail, walking the trail. It's a beautiful day to walk. Check this out over here. Some big rocks have got uh, left behind there. Look at that. Look at how that pushes up on that. That's cool. Hmm. That's promising right there. You know, this is a down log that's been buried and buried and buried. And uh, look at that. This is usually underwater. This is a good sign. Look at all that black sand right here. Hmm. Suspend a little gravel bed, but actually. This boulder, I don't know if we put that there. It's kind of like, look at how pushed up on that. You know? Clean up out of there. Hmm. What's in there? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to the spillway. This is cool though, look at this. I've never actually seen it like this. This is actually big rocks. This is cool. All right. Hmm. Then the gravel bed over there. Alright, let's check it out. These guys. Land, private land right here. Should have parked in my usual spot because I didn't think I was going to end up coming over here by the spillway. Original plan was to go up by the Union's Bridge, but uh, there's all kinds of riffraff down over there in the city, you know, uh, breaking into cars and whatnot. And I'm not, I don't want to be that far away from my car, you know. Um, I mean, here I'm already far enough, had a parking way about a mile away, but at least over here. There's farmhouses that you can park in front of, and uh, they kind of watch your kind of watch your car for you, which is cool. I got the otters coming. All right, there's a fisherman. All right. Okay, well, I think I'm going to pause you up right here. Okay. Usually hit that uh, sandbar that's right there, but uh, I don't have my water shoes. So I'm not looking to get wet, but all this right there. Look at that. There's a lot of big rocks that don't really move chunks of concrete that you can crevice underneath um further up i'm headed over to that right there actually right there that's where i'm headed i have never uh took any kind of samples over there so let's go wait 
Let's go. Look at that. Yeah. Just came from over there. But uh yeah, let's uh let's hit the big the big crevices. Let's see what it's got here. Watch your footing here. Okay. Uh, let's go up. See? Again, Widowmaker. Right on the path. That won't kill you. Son of a bee. I'm not kidding over here, man. Windy days, it's dangerous on this stretch of the Arkansas in Pueblo. These trees will freaking kill you. Look at all that. Look at all that. Okay, let's go. Continue walking. Scout it out. Let's take it down to the river. All right. Cool. Wow. That's some pretty good sized rocks here. Um, look at that. That's a little natural little dam waterfall right there. Big old heavy rock. Look at those. All right. This looks promising. It really does. Wow. Look at this. That's crazy. A lot of these rocks weren't here. This stuff actually came tumbling down from further upstream, obviously. They didn't travel far, but far enough. Okay. Well, good spot to pan, I guess. Kinds of frogs and crawdads. I don't know what the hell that was. All right. Let's check it out, huh? Let's go. Crossing over, little tight gravels right there. That's really tightly packed. Do some good crevicing right there. That's a good spot. That looks promising. Wow. So this thing has been stuck there. A chunk of concrete, some rebar. Uh, dry beds right here, and nice big shiny rocks, hard compact right here. Nice little, uh, well, that's good to know, man. I bet you that is look at all these, that's concrete, those are exposed rebar. Yeah, that'll jack you up. Better be careful with that. Oh, look at this. Cool. You find cool stuff on the on the river. Except for when you see people's trash. I'll get that in a minute. A high suspended gravel bed right up here. This is really high up. 
right below the falls. So I'm thinking, maybe? All right, let's set it up. Let's, let's get some samples. All right, maiden voyage. Oh, hold on. Maiden voyage of the crevice tool from Honan Mining Supplies. All right, found a cool little crevice over here. Started cleaning it out. Tightly packed gravels. See, this is what you want. This is what you're looking for. Suspends. Right there. All that right there. So I started scraping all this off. And then uh, but there's another good spot right there too. Clean that out. So this is a good area. I'm going to get my sample from here. I'm going to set you up right here so you can stare down at what I'm doing. All righty. right there that's pretty it's a good sign This is get good stuff. We'll find out, huh? Okay. Ah, uh, shit. I can probably just pan it out right here. All right. Cool. Hope you can hear me with this waterfall loud. Oh, 
Moment of truth here. Good sign, we got lead. Got <laughs> a lot of lead. Wow. It's like bird shot. Split shots. Uh, lead and gold travel together. So that's a good sign. Maybe we can clean out that hole. This home with me. Yeah, got that Bird shot. Well, that's the lead. There. So there should be gold deeper in. So anyway. <laughs> Lead and gold travel together. So uh, I'm going to keep that, take that out of the river, and continue cleaning that hole out. Put that in my pocket. All right. Oh, here's another one. Split shots, man. <laughs> it should be gold in here, though. Wow, we gotta dig it out. Let's finish digging it out. There's lead, so let's uh, go back and dig it out. There's gotta be gold in here, man. There's gotta be. I'll show you. I'm hoping deeper underneath there. That's going to pay off. That's going to start of a deep little crevice underneath the rock. It's a good gold drop. All right. Got my sample here. Let's uh, pan it out. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. 